I was born in the inner city of Baltimore, Maryland, in the ghetto. I was going nowhere. My mother and father fought like cats and dogs. I remember now how they got on each other, fist fights, knife fights, everything, and it was, they were on their way to a divorce. But one day my daddy went to work. It was a white man who sat down next to him and said, if you died right now, do you know whether you'd go to heaven? My father said, I can't say that I know I'd go to heaven. And that day, he shared the good news of Jesus Christ with my daddy. My daddy accepted Jesus Christ as his savior. And we knew the man who went to work that morning was not the same man who came home that day. The only time my father could read the Bible was at two in the morning when my mother was asleep. He would get up, he would come downstairs in order to pray, and one of his prayers was, Lord, if you give me the strength, I will, by your grace, save my family, but I can't do it apart from a miraculous intervention by you. My mother made life miserable, but a year later, he heard her coming down at two in the morning while she was reading her Bible. He thought to himself, oh no, here we go, another battle. But this night was different because when she came down, she was crying. He said, what's wrong? She said, every time I hate you, you love me. Every time I reject you, you accept me. Every time I turn you away, you pray for me. She says, I have been watching this, thinking this was just some religious fad you were on, but you have been nonstop at this for a year. So whatever this is you have must be real. How can I have it right now? in Christ and she became a fruitful vine. They gathered me and my siblings around the table, witness to us. We accepted Jesus Christ as our savior. All of a sudden, our home on that inner city block was unlike the rest of the homes on that inner city block. I became the first person in my family to finish high school. Then I became the first person in my family to graduate from college. Then I became the first African American to get a doctorate degree from Dallas Theological Seminary while working on my doctorate. We started a church with 20 people, 10 people in my house that's now over 5,000 today. While we were developing the church, we started the radio broadcast that's now heard in 450 stations across America and 40 countries around the world. Now, I didn't tell you that to tell you about me. I told you that to tell you about my daddy. You see, he learned to fear God. When he feared God, his mother became a fruitful vine. I became an olive plant. He then took us and raised us in Zion and that's the reason I'm in the community of Des Moines, Iowa tonight.